See back in the day, back when I lived at my mom's house, had the storage room back behind the house. It's attached to the carport. That was the hangout forever. You know, once we got of age, it was the place where we'd smoke cigarettes and, oh yeah, eventually smoke weed. Had some of the greatest conversations in there. You know, just hanging out, talking, solving the world's problems. One of my favorite questions was, because religion always got brought up. One of my favorite questions was, so, do you believe everything happens for a reason or there are reasons that everything happens? They're totally different. And they, people, no, 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 I mean, it's the same. Sounds similar, just changing up a couple of the words. So we'll dive a little deeper into it. I heard a lot of times in my life when tragic things happen and even more recently in life when I talk about these tragic things and what I've gone through and the most common thing people like to say is, man, everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why you went through all that. There's a reason for that. And, and I'm not talking bad about it because it makes sense in their mind. What I'm asking is, do you believe everything happens for a reason? Meaning that it was divinely inspired. Or there are reasons that everything happens. Not quite so planned. Not pure chaos because everything is bouncing off of each other if a true mathematician can actually predict a variable if, if marbles were to be poured out of the sack the angles that all of them could infinitely go and it's just like when when somebody says hindsight's 2020 yeah you could totally tell this wreck was going to happen if you were able to sit there and look up from far enough you're like mm. I can do the same thing in a soccer game. You know? You just watch the movement down the field. You're like, oh, that's a goal. You know? All those little kicks, all those little... <laughs> those are reasons why they moved up the field the way they did and the way the defense was set up the way they were because in pregame, this is the, the what they chose to do. So which way does it fall? Did God divinely inspire every single one of those moments? When you pray, does he answer them by rewarding you with giving you what you ask for, or leading you in that direction? And some people, yes, and some people, no. You know, everything happens for a reason. When you blanket something like that, it all means something. It all means something. So does that mean throughout any war, any war, good side, bad side, it just depends on what side of the fence you're on. Were those all divinely inspired? Did those all happen for a reason? Or were there reasons why they all happened? Because you had some egomaniac that was just high on power and I digress. Like I say, which way do you see it? And I'm not saying one way's right, one way's wrong. This is what makes sense to me. This is not an argument, it's a question. Some people take this the wrong way. And when I'd have to tell people back then, like, no, 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 we're not fighting about this. I like to hear your reasoning behind it. Why? If I ask why you feel that way, you know, don't be surprised if I kind of even kind of imply and ask because you were raised that way or because you independently decided this. Because there's a difference in those. It's okay, you know? I mean, I miss having these talks. Because this is where you get to really know somebody. Some people do not do well talking about this stuff. They lose their mind. 
Um, and it, it's sometimes it's one side of the fence or the other, their blinders are just so fixed that there is no question that anyone could look outside of the way they see it, the way they see it. If there is a God, if there isn't a God, I can't prove one way or the other. I can't. I'm not smart enough. I'm not talented enough. I won't try one way or the other. I know what makes sense to me. I have this eight-year-old son who has questions now, and I try to give him answers as, like, you know, I want you to come up with your own decision on this because I don't want to feel like I influenced it to the point where you are a mini me. I want you to have thought about this because if you look at my history with my family, I definitely do not. I might think similarly to some of them because we never really, we were raised in a, in a pretty, you know, this is the, this is the religion we are. And, um, you know, it wasn't ever violent or anything like that. We weren't, you know, the Bible belt like beat into us, but, um, Religion never made a lot of sense to me. I can understand why it makes a lot of sense to most everyone. I can. And that's what makes me a little different than them sometimes because sometimes it's hard for them to understand that for me it's kind of chaotic to think that somebody's up there playing around with my life because I'm one of those people that I truly uh, think that my decisions are my own. I have people regularly tell me that things happen in my life and there is only one way that can happen is because God made it happen. If that makes sense to you, I like it a lot. I wish it was that easy for me sometimes because I don't ever have that clarity. And when I know people who, who uh, have that moment, man, they seem like they're just like, bam, you know, light bulb. I don't, man, I question everything. It's just, it's how I've always been. I try to change it, but I question things. And, you know, I look up at the stars and I'm like, it's so big. How we're so small. Do we feel like we have it all figured out? You know, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, I go on forever. I'm sorry. I really meant just to ask. So. Does everything happen for a reason? Or are there reasons why everything happens? There's only one answer to the second one. I'll talk about that next time.